Hello everyone. Um, today I wanted to show you uh, how I make some of my supplies for when I'm uh, creating something with mixed media or um, when I'm for book, book, book binding, book covering, things like that. Um, so this is, I'll do this every so often, I'll have a big session of making up some of these papers and then I've got them there ready for when I want to use them. A little bit like um, the way I do with my um, embossing on tissue paper. And equally, you can do this technique on tissue paper. I'm sure many of you do that already. But I just wanted to share with you what I what I do. So um, this paper here, this is uh, the kind of paper that you get scrunched up. Uh, we know when you buy a handbag or something like that and it sort of fills out the space. Um, well, I never throw it away. I always keep it and I flatten it out and I save it and I save it in one of my my bags full of random different papers that I know that I'm going to use at some point. Packing papers, wrapping papers, that kind of thing. Um, so I save um, these kinds of papers and um, the same with this is just brown, plain brown wrapping paper that somebody wrapped something in for me. It's ripped, it doesn't matter because I'm going to be ripping it myself anyway. So that's how I start, that's what I start off with. Next I'll choose a few stamps that I want to work with on that day. Um, today I'm going to be working with a variety of stamps but I'm going to start off with these alphabet stamps. So I'm what I'm going to do, I've got two acrylic blocks and I'm going to mount a random selection of letters or numbers on each block um, and I'm probably going to fast forward that up for you and then fast forward up the process. the end of today's little um, stamping session on waste paper. Uh, you could do it on newsprint, you could do it on tissue paper, you could do it on whatever you've got, white paper if you prefer white with whatever colour inch you want and if you wanted to bespoke it if you're doing a project for a person you can make that piece just all about that person. You can do so many things with this um, technique and um, and I love using these papers for my sort of first layer of one of my first layers uh, when I'm doing a mixed media project. So I hope that you found that useful. 
Um, I'll do a couple of close-up shots for you at the end. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.